All right, who is ready to get another round of six hundred dollars? Yes, that's right, six hundred dollars. That's it, six hundred. Also, in other news, the bug, the bug juice, is it going to be mandatory in the workplace? Can employers make it mandatory? Something we're all going to have to deal with if we got nine to fives. And breaking news that has just came out recently on what Donald Trump has said in regards to passing of the bug right here guys Trump urges Congress to increase relief from 600 to 2,000 per person or he will veto the bug bill this is 30 minutes ago so this is fresh off the press guys so it looks like that 600 it may not be coming all that and more on today's episode okay let's go <laughs> What's good everybody, hope you guys are doing good. So we are back today for another video. And before we begin, this is my Twitter page in case you guys are not already following. What are you waiting for? The fun never ends here, okay? I post my dividend payouts here so you guys can see how the dividends work, gym photos, anything else that's going on, I post here on a daily basis. I just learned to do scheduled tweets. I know it's amazing, it's 2020, but hey, I'm learning, okay? And uh, right now we are at 563 followers. Like I said, if you're not already following, go ahead and click on that follow if you have any questions comments or concerns this is the place to leave it and i'll get back to you guys soon all right now let's begin all right guys so i have been following the news very very carefully so i can get you guys the most accurate information what's going on there are income limits to be eligible for the 600 stimulus check okay now this thing was passed in congress however this is not guaranteed i'll tell you guys in a later clip here why it's not guaranteed however there are limits okay so here we go individuals earning up to 87,000 and couples earning up to 174,000 will receive some form of a payment individuals who earn up to 75,000 in 2019 will get the full amount of 600 and couples that earned up to 150,000 will receive 1200 okay so check your tax statement hopefully look guys do your taxes okay do your taxes, stay out of trouble, hopefully you did your taxes, and that uh, you can check to see if you're going to qualify if you're within these range, if you are single, or if you are with somebody, you have a couple. This round of checks is then reduced by 5000 for every dollar of income over those limits, or 50 for every 1000 exceeding the phase-out threshold. Under the CARES Act, the 1200 paint for each individual phased out at 99000 So as you guys can see, they have kind of tuned this thing back, not giving us as much this go around taxpayers will also receive 600 for each dependent under age 17 here are other important details to know about the second set of payments all right we're not gonna watch this video we don't got time to watch videos let's continue on the second seamless package here's what's included now this video here i'm gonna get to in a bit is a very interesting video by trump on his twitter page i i did watch it guys so i'm not reporting and telling you guys something that i didn't check out myself i did check it out i'll get to it in a minute Individual payments we just went over. So if you're under, if you're within that threshold, you will get a $600 payment if it is signed by Trump, which it looks like things may be up in the air. Unemployment benefits. So if you have been unemployment, if you have been unemployed, the agreement would receive, would revive enhanced federal jobless benefits of up to 300 per week for 11 weeks. Okay, now of course it depends on your circumstance. It's going to depend on if you were laid off, if you quit, if you got fired, whatever the case may be. Okay, look. This is just a general guideline, okay? Now let's continue on here. What else we got here? It helps small businesses, apparently targeted aid for small business. And I'm sure as you guys have seen, small businesses have been hit super hard. I don't know where you guys live, but uh, I've been seeing what's going on in California, okay? Those small restaurant owners are getting destroyed, okay? A lot of shops are closing. There's so many restrictions. I've seen those viral videos of people in California, okay? Hopefully, they can get the help that they need because uh, I know the market in California is kind of tough, okay? Additional loans under the PPP program, Paycheck Protection Program. And that was under the CARES Act. They had that as well. A significant share of funds to flow to a tiny fraction of borrowers. The program was criticized for falling prey to widespread fraud. Yeah, that was a big issue. It was a lot of fraud that um, had came out after the fact. The legislation set aside nearly $70 billion for a range of public health measures, including $20 billion for the purchase of the bug juice. 
8 billion for bug juice distribution, an additional 20 billion to help states continue their test and trace program. All right, so we got a lot of money that's going to be coming in. A ban on surprise medical bills. Let's see. The bill make it illegal for hospitals to charge patients for services like emergency treatment and out of network doctors or transport in air ambulances that patients often have no say in accepting. The new changes will take effect in 2022, requiring that patients only pay the normal in network deductibles and co payments they would have otherwise under the insurance. The law would leave it to healthcare providers to negotiate with insurers to settle the different the difference rental protection okay now this might mess up some of your guys' plans okay if you were like me and you were kind of waiting to see what's going on with the housing market because the end of december was when the eviction moratorium had been extended to well guess what you're gonna have to wait guys okay so it looks like it's gonna be going through the end of january okay so people can't get evicted until the end of january assuming there's not another package that gets passed thus extending that moratorium which more likely than not looks like if biden is going to secure his seat as president it's more likely than not going to happen that it's going to be extended again the bill also provides 25 billion in rental assistance okay food security expanding one of the most reliable channels of aid the snap program they increase the monthly snap program okay so if you're on food stamps i guess that's good for you you're going to have extended amount of money you can use funding for broadband infrastructure now here's what's interesting guys okay i went through all this for you did you guys see anything about foreign aid no you didn't right however what's interesting is this this bill does allocate quite a lot to foreign aid to other countries which is very very bizarre and in this clip here on trump's twitter page he does break it down and i did do my research and i fact checked it and it's correct a lot of money is going to foreign aid which is kind of strange but let's come back to that okay let's continue on here all right what's in the second package as well another website from cnn stimulus checks unemployment benefits small business loans grants for theaters and other live venues funding for schools and child care rental assistance the nutritional assistance program snap the bug and hospital funding payroll tax repayment okay those are the main things okay so it's very bizarre that both cnn and cbs do not cover they don't talk about the foreign aid this is Journal of Accountancy. The bug bill addresses key PPP issues. So if you guys, here you go. So let's see here. I'm trying to see where it talks about the aid to foreign countries because it's it's here, guys. It's, it's going to be here somewhere. The businesses. Okay, never mind. So it's not. This is just for the U.S. It looks like. So all the business stuff, logistics. If you guys need some assistance or questions, Journal of Accountancy. Just put the bug 19 and you're going to get all this updated information to see if any of this is going to impact you. If you have a small business, if you need a loan to operate your business, all that good stuff. Okay, now let's continue on. Now, here is what is interesting, right, guys? So I've been paying attention to the bug juice a lot lately. Okay, this is a big, big issue. The U.S. to study allergic reactions from Pfizer's bug juice. Okay, guys, look, I'm not no... Uh, Nostradamus, okay, uh, but this is kind of common sense, okay? This we knew this was gonna happen. There's already concerns with this bug juice, and it was only a matter of time until this allergic reaction thing kind of came out. And uh, yeah, a clinician in, in Alaska suffered anaphylactic symptoms after receiving the Pfizer inoculation, and uh, they kind of break it down. So here's why this is very very uh, troublesome okay guys F in case you don't know this pfizer and moderna and BioNTech, the three main players for the bug juice guess what they're not liable guys okay so look people who have an allergic reaction people who get sick from this thing guess what they're not liable you can't hold them liable you can't take it to court nothing zero nada that's why i'm naturally very very skeptical for that reason okay again i'm not telling you what you should and should not do i'm just raising questions and concerns that i naturally have okay now let's continue on here what else i got for you guys congress passes the massive bug relief bill to provide direct aid to struggling americans the sweeping legislation includes a new round of checks and extension of unemployment and more money for the bug 
the bug juice I should say again guys very very interesting this is NBC News nothing about the foreign aid hmm why is that everyone's favorite speaker of the house Nancy Pelosi discusses bug relief plan with significant direct payment significant yeah guys she had the audacity to call 600 a significant amount while she's getting paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars her paychecks have not been paused at all but we all we get a uh, 600 bucks that's uh, what they think we are worth and our struggles are worth 600 bucks all right let's continue on here the bill cannot and will not be the final word upon conditional relief from the bug pandemic this is an emergency survival package and when we come back and see so guys look when we come back and these guys are on vacation again i swear these guys just go on vacation and they get paid it, it's unbelievable i mean right now people have lost their jobs they're working extra to pick up for less labor that's available vacation time is hard to get to it's the holidays but these guys look at this they go on vacation they're getting paid i mean what's the problem right they got they got nothing to worry about this is why uh there is no sense of urgency guys they don't have any incentive to uh do much here we go guys i told you i got you guys i surprise you i got you new york post i salute you billions in foreign aid, foreign aid pet projects stuffed into the bug relief bill who wrote this article uh steven nelson i give you props you are saluted my friend thank you finally somebody is reporting on what's going on and it's not just a conspiracy that we got billions in foreign aid no this is a fact all right now let's break it down for you guys <clears throat> all right let's see uh, if i can find it for you here we go yeah i see it okay let's just start from the top this is gonna this is gonna be a while but it's okay so congress passed 2.3 trillion bug relief funding and government bill on monday that was stuffed with cash for foreign countries and policy pet projects for powerful legislators okay here we go here we go you guys ready for it? look if you're on your tic tacs you're on your myspace take a break this is very important the bill adds two national mall museums bans the u.s postal service from delivering e-cigarettes it makes online streaming of copyright material punishable by up to 10 years in prison. The 5,593 page package wasn't available until around 2 p.m. Monday before it was passed in the House around 9 p.m. and in the Senate before midnight. Trump is expected to sign. <laughs> they think he's going to sign. He ain't signing this. Trump's not crazy. He's not going to sign this, guys. Okay, it's not going to happen. Although some legislators complained they couldn't possibly review the bill before voting, it overwhelmingly passed both chambers. Again, guys, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Would you ever agree to something that you have not read? Would you ever buy a house and they said, oh, you can't read the contract. You just got to assume that we got your best interest at heart. You just got to gotta sign your name away. No, of course not. But these guys, like I said, they got no skin in the game, guys. They're getting paid. They ain't going to save you. They're going to restaurants. They're chilling. All right, let's continue on here before I get uh, very upset here. Okay, my bad, guys. So the whole piracy thing, it's part of this whole package, the e-cigarette banned from the u.s postal service which was sponsored by feinstein good thing she has her priorities set and rose de Lauro. like i said guys it just shows you where these people's priorities are you're trying to ban e-cigarettes being delivered by the u.s postal service they should all be working to get the economy open and let people run their business and do their thing and just take their safety precautions and do what they gotta do that's the best stimulus we all need right now also included were two museums on the National Mall focusing on the history of Latinos and women. All right, let's see what we got here. 33 million was included for democracy programs for De uh, Venezuela. 132 million was given to the formerly Soviet Republic of Georgia. All right, let's continue on here. The bill allocated 300 million for countering Chinese influence fraud and 290 million for a countering Russian influence fund. It committed 101 million to fight wildlife poaching and ordered 2.5 million for internet freedom programs in closed societies. The package commits 506 million in Central American regional security, also including 45 million towards the nation's attorney generals if they seek to fight corruption. Oh, there's more guys. I told you guys, it, it gets good, don't worry. The package included 453 million in assistance to Ukraine, 700 million economic support for Sudan, and 10 million for gender programs in Pakistan. 
uh, yeah i'm just gonna leave that at that okay guys gender programs in pakistan a society that isn't very uh open to this type of stuff let's move on okay i predict the day our country's finances collapses we will be funding gender programs in pakistan oh i predict the day our country's finance collapses we will still be funding that's republican and representative revenue republican thomas massey from kentucky legislation additionally authorizes four billion in military loans for jordan and 250 million for palestinians in a five-year program intended to boost palestinian employment to improve the chance of peace with israel oh boy now here's uh here's the cherry on top 500 million allocation to support Israel's military purchases, including the Iron Dome missile defense system. Okay, guys, so Glenn Greenwald, the 500 million to Israel is not technically part of the COVID bill, but a separate bill passed with foreign aid at still at the same time. Congress said they can't afford more than 600 in a one time payment to Americans yeah guys so there you go i'm not just uh talking to talk i'm telling you guys the facts okay a lot of foreign aid is included in the bill now here is what's interesting guys don't worry we're getting close i know it's getting kind of long but uh, a lot of very important information for you guys though this has been my big concern okay now here's why i haven't been as active on youtube and posting is because look guys i don't get paid right now posting videos okay i make this for hobby i enjoy it it's my creative outlet okay i enjoy it however i gotta i gotta eat guys okay i gotta eat i gotta sleep i gotta drink water i gotta be somewhere relatively safe so i have a nine to five okay just being straight up with you guys now as you guys know or don't know i don't feel as strongly with the bug juice okay i'm very skeptical and uh, if it becomes mandatory of nine to five or bug juice it's gonna be a a, a battle however here's what's interesting can employers make the bug juice mandatory yes with some exceptions all right so let's go over this really quickly in case you guys might be on the same boat you guys might be concerned like me so in case you are i'm gonna give you guys a breakdown this is from a legal expert experts say employers can require can require employees to take safety measures including the bug juice that doesn't necessarily mean you will get fired if you refuse, but you might need to sign a waiver or, or agree to work under specific conditions to limit any risk you might pose to yourself or others. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the key part is right there. Employers generally have wide scope to make rules for the workplace, said Dorit Reese, a law professor who specializes in bug juice policies at university of california hastings college of the law it's their business okay let's continue on here now what about the eeop or eeoc i should say equal employment opportunity commission they have allowed companies to mandate the flu and other bug juice and has also indicated they can require the bug juice however with everything there are exceptions for example, people can request exemptions for medical or religious reasons. And even though employers can require the bug juice, there are reasons they might not want to. Guys, think about this. It's going to be a legal headache. Who took the bug juice? Who didn't take the bug juice? I mean, this is they make the point right here. Tracking compliance with mandatory bug juice would be an administrative burden, said Michelle Strohero, an employment advisor and lawyer at McDermott will and emery employers would also have to manage exception exempt exception requests not to mention legal claims that might arise as a result many employers will likely strongly encourage the bug juice without requiring it stro hero said okay so that's kind of where things are at according to the associated press this was released yesterday on the 21st now how did the stock market do well it's been down but not a whole lot it's been s p 500 has been down for about eight points the dow a couple hundred points so nothing too crazy still been relatively stable now let's shift gears to the very last thing guys so before i was filming slash recording this video for you guys 
I saw this. There's a video on Trump's Twitter page. It's five minutes long. I'm not going to click on it here because I don't want to get uh, copyright, okay? Click on it and he explains the whole funding for the foreign aid and all that good stuff. Because when I was going to make this video for you guys, I had all these articles lined up, basically broke it down, but nothing talked about the foreign aid. And then I finally searched foreign aid and then I found something. So this could be interesting if you guys want to check that out. And the last thing to wrap this up, guys. Trump urges Congress to increase the relief from 600 to at least 2,000 per person or he will veto the bug relief bill, which I think he's going to probably veto it, guys. Okay, he wants more money, 2,000 per person. Seems like it could be more helpful than 600. What are you going to do with 600 bucks? I mean, people have lost their livelihoods. Unemployment has kind of ran out. And if they're going to do something, he might as well spend a little bit and then maybe cut back on foreign aid and all that good stuff just a food for thought okay guys anyways i think i'm gonna stop it for here i got you guys updated a lot of good information if you guys have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them in the comments below like i said twitter youtube either way whatever you're comfortable sending comments go ahead and i'll respond to you guys in a timely manner okay anyways that's gonna be the video as always if you're not subscribed don't subscribe and if you like don't forget to like until next time peace